I'm a strong believer that personal style is something that develops and changes with time and with experience and with all of these changes that we go through in our lives. I also believe that it's something that is attainable by anyone regardless of your income status or your personal tastes and preferences. It's something that you can figure out on your own by looking for inspiration all around you and also by looking inward and really taking the time to think about the things that represent your personality and who you are and make you your most happiest, most confident self. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some style secrets that I think will help guide you in discovering your own personal style. These are secrets that I have found that the most stylish women know and apply to their own personal style. These are also secrets that I have been implementing into my personal style and wardrobe and I really really hope that you'll find them helpful for you too. So with that being said let's hop right into the video. So I truly truly believe with every fiber in my being that you do not have to have a lot of money or spend a lot of money for that matter to achieve incredible style. I can confidently say that I really really spend full price on a lot of my clothing and a lot of the items in my wardrobe. Whenever I shop online, I almost never pay retail. And one of the tools I have been using to help me save money and shop smarter when I shop online is the Karma app. This portion of the video is proudly made in partnership with Karma, an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code ever again. I have been using the app over the last couple of years to save money on all of my online shopping, and it also keeps me in the loop whenever my favorite online retailers are having a sale or having something I've been eyeing come back into stock. Recently, I've been on the lookout for homeware for our new house, and I've been using the app to curate a wish list of the items I've been eyeing on the internet, like these beautiful, colorful Asseline coffee table books I can't wait to get my hands on. Let me quickly show you how I use the app to not only save money on anything and everything, but also how you can get cash back on your online purchases. To create a Karma account, all you have to do is click on the sign up link in my description box and follow the step by step instructions. You're going to want to install the blue button onto your internet browser and when you are browsing around on the internet or if there's items that you know you would consider buying if they come back in stock or went on sale, find those items, click the blue button and save it to your Karma account. This is basically your own private shopping page of all the items you've tagged. You can organize these items into customized lists and you can also share these lists with friends and family. If anything you tagged comes back in stock or goes on sale, you will instantly get a notification in real time via mobile push or email. Karma is also partnered with thousands of online retailers, so when you shop from their select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. Another one of my favorite features is this little pop-up that comes up at checkout that scans the internet for all the latest coupons with a click of a button. This is a special feature that's only available on computers, making the Chrome extension a must. It's honestly the best and most effective way to get the items you're lusting after before anyone else, get ahead of the sales, and make sure you're getting the best deal possible. I'll leave the sign up link in my description box so you can download Karma for free. So the point I'm trying to drive home with using the Karma app is that you do not have to spend a lot of money or pay retail prices to achieve good style. You wanna focus on timeless classic pieces that you can build up on. Think about these pieces as a blank canvas to allow you to express your personal style. So building up on my first point of money not being able to buy style, the same thing goes for designer clothing. Yes, designer clothing is usually made with exceptional materials and it's tailored and its workmanship is usually far more superior than something that you will find, for example, at H&M or at Zara. But if you have money, it really is not that hard to go to a designer store and buy designer clothing. That's why I think that when it 
it comes to style, it takes a lot more thought and creative effort to put together a stylish outfit that looks good that is not designer. So that's why I personally believe that if you are a stylish person, you'll still be able to put together a really beautiful outfit that doesn't necessarily have to be designer. A style secret that I truly believe every stylish woman knows is to be very methodical about your purchases, especially larger purchases such as shoes or handbags or jewelry. Coming from my own personal experience, when I was younger, I feel like I was a lot more irrational when it came to a lot of bigger purchases, such as buying a handbag or an expensive pair of shoes. Whereas now, now that I have developed more of a sense of my own style and what I need and what I'm looking for from the items in my wardrobe, I'm a lot more methodical about these purchases. I really analyze these purchases in my head and think about their wearability, their longevity, their versatility, and all of these different things. And only when all of these needs of mine are met or most of these things on my checklist have been checked off, then I will make the purchase. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a skill that I have developed over many, many years of purchasing mistakes. And if you are currently trying to develop your personal style, you will make a lot of these mistakes and you will continue to make these mistakes and hopefully learn from them and avoid making them in the future. So probably one of the best kept style secrets that most stylish people know is how to style the same piece in many different ways. If you know how to take, for example, a basic white t-shirt or a basic button-down dress shirt and you can style it up and down in many different ways, you can make it casual, you can make it more evening appropriate, it, you can layer it, you can wear it on its own. That to me shows that a person is confident with their personal style, that they're creative, and that they know how to take a basic item that everyone likely owns in their wardrobe and they can transform it to make it whatever they want it to be. So this next style secret kind of extends from my previous point of designer clothing. So there's different types of designer clothing. There's just designer clothing that is made by a specific fashion house that is well made, that lays beautifully, that's tailored really well. And there's also designer clothing that has logos splashed all over it. So with this specific point, I wanted to talk about the logo heavy items. I feel like most stylish people avoid logo heavy items as much as possible, especially mixing logos. They are a lot more discreet about the logos that they wear and limited to maybe a handbag or a pair of shoes and don't wear logos from head to toe. I feel like when you wear logos from head to toe, you're not really showing your personal style. I feel like it's more of an advertisement for the fashion house that you are wearing. And that to me is not usually a very timeless and classic look. And it definitely to me does not represent a person's personal style. This next point is something that I have started doing religiously over the last couple of years. And that is purging your closet. I feel like most people who have a really good sense of personal style purge their closet frequently. Not only does it help you be a more conscious shopper when you are making purchasing decisions, but it also allows you to see what you currently have in your wardrobe, what you wear the most, what you wear the least, and it really helps you zero in on the items that you wear the most so that you can get the most of your wardrobe and avoid buying the things that you don't wear as often. I feel like this also allows you to have more clarity about the pieces that you have. And when you get rid of the things that you don't wear as often, it's a lot easier to come up with creative outfits that work together, that can be mixed and matched in an abundance of different ways. And when you focus on filling up your closet with items that make you look and feel your best, you're going to feel like you are a lot more stylish on a daily basis. Another style secret that I think every stylish person knows is what pieces look 
the best on your particular body type. I strongly encourage when you are trying to develop your personal style and before you go out to shop for new pieces for your wardrobe, look at your body in the mirror and really get to know yourself. Love yourself for all of your perfections and imperfections and the things that you feel good and don't feel so good about. And remember that this body that you live in is the only home you're gonna have for the rest of your life. So focus on buying clothing that is going to emphasize your beauty and make you feel like your absolute best in the body that you are in. You need to kind of throw out that idea that your body is changing or going to change or you want to change something about it. Focus on dressing your body right now as it is and love it for everything it does for you on a daily basis. When you are confident in your own skin and you know what you are working with, you're going to be able to figure out what works best on your body type and essentially help you build a personal style that will always make you look and feel your best. I also truly believe that most stylish people stick to a less is more approach. I feel like when you start overthinking your outfits and over accessorizing, adding too much jewelry and doing too much of something, it looks very jumbled and confusing and it looks like you are trying to combine too many things and trends all in one look. In my personal opinion, a stylish person looks very chic and put together in a timeless and classic way and then usually they have a few accent pieces that make their outfit unique to them and makes them stand out. So as much as I think trends are important in helping you discover your personal style, I also don't believe that you need to follow every single trend. I think that most stylish people know that not all trends are for them and the trends that are, you want to look for these trends in a more wearable and a more approachable form. When it comes to trends, I really take the time to think about if it's something that I would personally get enjoyment out of, if it's something that I personally love, or if it's something that I love because I saw it on so and so. I really take the time to think about these things because fashion changes so often and so frequently, and I don't want to be spending my bandwidth on items that don't really add anything into my life. Yes, I'll still make the occasional purchase here and there if it's something that I'm completely lusting over, but oftentimes I find that those pieces become obsolete very, very quickly. So that's why I'm very careful when it comes to trends and I only buy trends if it's something that I really, really love and will get several uses out of before I feel like like it's time to part with it. And if that is the case, if it is something that I feel like I will part with after a few wears, I usually do not go the designer route. I try to save in terms of cost and look for something that has a similar vibe to the designer version that's high quality, that can be worn many, many times, but doesn't break the bank. A style secret that I feel most stylish people know is that when it comes to basics, you should always try to invest in higher quality basics because basics are the foundations of your wardrobe. They will help you build your outfits if you have good quality basics that fit you well and that flatter your body shape and that make you feel good. You're going to have these pieces in your wardrobe for years and years to come and these will always be pieces that you're going to gravitate towards when putting a certain look together. It's going to make your dressing up so much easier and so much more enjoyable when you just have basic foundational pieces that feel and look amazing. Just as it is important in my opinion to invest in good quality pieces, you also want to invest in flattering pieces that flatter your particular body type. I've mentioned previously in 
this video that you really want to assess your body and all of its imperfections and love it for what it is and look for pieces that will flatter your personal body type and don't be afraid to invest in these pieces because these are pieces again that you're going to have in your wardrobe for years and years to come hopefully and they're going to be pieces that will always make you feel your best even on those days when you are not feeling like your best self i truly believe that most stylish people do not just develop their personal style on their own i feel like a stylish person should be able to find inspiration all around them and i'm not just talking about finding inspiration from other people or from people on social media or celebrities you should be able to find inspiration from your environment from traveling from books from movies from all of these different things that stimulate your creativity and your mind on a daily basis i feel like this is so so important and when you open up your eyes and you are more aware of the surroundings in your life on a daily basis it really allows you to curate a wardrobe that kind of reflects that and further enables you to develop your own personal style another thing that i truly believe when it comes to developing your personal style is that you do not allow others to influence you when i was younger when i was in elementary school and high school and i had a really close group of girlfriends i was really influenced by the things that they would buy and they were really influenced by the things i would buy and inevitably it caused us to dress very very similarly and and now that I'm older and wiser and more mature and I have my own personal sense of style, I can sit around my girlfriends and appreciate their personal style and the thought that went into dressing themselves and still know in my mind that even though I love their outfit, it's not something that represents who I am and it doesn't represent my personal style and it wouldn't make me look and feel my personal best. So again, that awareness factor is so, so important to really understand what will work for you and what will work for somebody else and be okay with not replicating what someone else is doing just because you love it on them. Another really important skill that I feel like any stylish person knows how to do is how to create well-balanced outfits and what I mean by that is outfits that look like they have been balanced in some way. It could be in terms of fabric so for example if you are wearing a super chunky knit sweater you kind of want to balance it out with something more fitted and streamlined on the bottom and vice versa or if you are wearing a bright color somewhere you want to balance it out and ground it out with a more neutral tone so there's a very methodical process to styling an outfit and putting together an outfit that most stylish people have somewhat mastered and again this is something that comes with experience and with your own personal style and developing and remember there is no right or wrong if you feel like wearing a bright color from head to toe then you do you if that is something that is part of your personal style then that's amazing and I'm sure if you rock it with confidence you will look absolutely amazing which leads me to my last point my last style secret and that is to wear whatever you are wearing with confidence. Confidence will always be your best selling point. No matter where you are in your style journey, it will always make you look so much more put together and chic and cool and stylish. So whenever you are in doubt, whenever you don't feel 100% about the outfit that you put together, just bring out that confidence, smile, lift your head up high, and I promise you, whatever you are wearing, it's going to look amazing and with that that is everything i have for today's video i quickly wanted to remind you about the karma app that helps me shop smarter and save money whenever i shop online i'm going to leave all of the information on my screen here and also the free sign up link in my description box below so feel free to check it out if you're interested as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and i will see you in my next one